Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do your um, favorites project uh, in digital photography. So it's pretty easy, not a whole lot of new stuff, but there are a few things that you don't know how to do. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is compile a folder. You want to make a new folder in Bridge and title it favorites um, and drag or copy and paste um, six images into that folder that are like top six favorite images from the semester so far. Yes, we have a couple weeks left, but not a whole lot. Um, and we won't really be doing many more projects past this. So um, just compile your top six images um, and then you'll be good to go. Now I've made my view in Adobe Bridge light table. So remember from name, how to do that. And if you can't see it, like I just couldn't see it. I had to make my screen bigger. Um, and then you find that little like arrow or carrot and then you just click light table. Okay. The light table viewing mode um, just makes it a little easier to have both screens open at one time. So um, then you're gonna go to Photoshop and you are going to go up to file new And when it brings it up, you are going to make sure that this is in inches. And actually, let's name it first. So you're going to, right here where it says like untitled one, you're going to name it your last name and then favorites. Then you're going to make the width 20 inches. Make sure that that says inches. And then you're going to make the height. 10 inches. Okay, everything else should remain the same. Then you're going to click create and you'll have a document that looks like this. Okay, now these little um, edges indicate that I've got the crop tool on. So I'm going to just click on my move tool because that's a safe tool um, to be on. It's not going to mess anything up, that sort of thing. Um, and then the rest of it is kind of up to you. There are a few requirements for this project, um, but mostly it's kind of up to you how you're going to go about doing it. Um, you do have to have six images. That's a, a requirement. Um, and you do have to change the background color and you do have to add some, um, some form of line tool, shape tool, um, and that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that. So you can make your images any size. So I'm gonna drag my first image over. And again, you want to drag it from bridge onto the new document. If you drag it up here, it will open a new image. You just wanna drag it onto your document. And I'm just gonna do this with a couple of my images. So I'm gonna grab another one here. And it didn't go, so let's try it again. Okay. Try it again. Interesting. Oh, you know why? Because I haven't hit return. Okay. You have to hit return on your keyboard before you can do anything else. Okay. And then we'll hit return again. And this one opened in camera raw because I guess I didn't save any I must have edited a little bit more um, and didn't save any images, so I'm just going to say OK. So you do have to save your edits in Camera Raw before you do this, because otherwise um, you won't, they won't transfer. OK. All right. So now I'm going to... Um, make some of these smaller so I can fit my last one on here. You have to hold the shift key when you do that. Remember shift is the first thing you want to hold and the last thing you let go of. Otherwise, um, you'll mess up your image. Okay. So again, you're going to hold shift, make it a little bit smaller and there's no, um, size requirements for these images. You can make them as big or small as you want to. If when you're doing, um, 
all of that. If you don't see the arrow to make it bigger or smaller, make sure that show transform controls is turned on. Otherwise it will work. Okay. All right. So, oh, and like this, okay? So if you're dragging and you're like, why is this image under this one? I don't want it to be like that. It's a matter of layers. Remember, layers are like a stack of paper, and if one piece of paper is underneath another piece of paper, it's going to appear like this. So if I wanted this Batman image of my son to appear on top of this image, I would just come to my layers panel. If you don't see that, remember you need to go to um, window and then click on layers. I would just click on that specific layer and click and drag it up to the top, but I have to hit return before I can do anything. So it's just like a stack of papers. Okay, so at this point I can kind of drag them where I want them. Okay, I do want you to fill the space as best you can, so please don't um, Please don't have like a ton of negative space. If you want to do a couple more than six images, that's okay. Anyway, so I'm just going to leave these there for now. And then remember to hit return on your keyboard when you're done. Okay, then um, let's say I want to change my background. So I am going to, since I'm done with bridge, I'm going to make my Photoshop screen full screen. And then I'm going to scroll down to my layers panel and I'm going to click on my background layer. I'm just going to click once not clicking multiple times, and then I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool. You guys should know how to do this from the name project. And then I'm going to come here, and I'm going to set that foreground color. Whatever that foreground color is, that's what my paint bucket has in it. So let's say I want black, okay? If I wanted something else, just click on it and make it a different color. And then I click on my background. If that didn't work, you need to make sure that that's on your background layer. Okay, so next thing I'm going to show you guys how to use the shape tool, okay? So it's usually kind of under your text tool down here somewhere. Um, mine looks like an ellipse right now. Um, it should be under like the path selection tool. It looks like an arrow, okay? If I right click this, I can select different types of tools. The line tool, rectangle, ellipse, polygon, custom shape. Okay, if I clicked on the custom shape tool right up here where it says shape, I can pick a plethora of different um, shapes to choose from. But I am going to make this a rectangle tool because I'm going to have a border around my whole document. So since I just want it to be a border, I don't want it to have a fill, meaning I don't want it to the rectangle to be filled with anything. So I'm going to come up here and click on fill, and I'm going to click no fill. The stroke, I would like it to be white. Uh, the stroke just means the outline. So I'm going to change that to white. And I'm going to leave this at this size. It can be any size you want. And then I'm just going to click and drag wherever I want this border to be. And then I'm going to drop it. And then I'm going to click my background layer so that I can actually view that border. And now I've got a little border around my whole document. Again, you do not have to do it this way, but you do have to have evidence of the shape tool on, um, on your document somewhere. So this is a good way to do it if you're lost and confused, don't know how to do the shape tool, you could add a border like that. Um, <clears throat> let's say I wanted to add the line tool because you have to have evidence of the line tool as well. So I'm going to right click my shape make it a line and then I don't want to fill I do want a stroke and I'm gonna make my stroke like a dark gray so it's pretty you won't be able to see it as much okay and then you can do anything you want I'm just going to make a line through my document but I want this to be on the bottom, so I want it to be underneath all these images, so I'm going to make sure that it's on my bottom layer, and then it's just a really fine line um, in the background. Again, you can do anything you want. I'm going to make another one right here, just for, just for fun. I'm going to drop it. Again, I want it to be underneath my images, and then I've got a nice little line tool right there. Okay. Um, you also have to have evidence of text. 
in um, in this project. So I'll show you how to do the text tool. So I've shown you how to do the shape tool. Remember for shape you can do rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, or custom shape tool. Um, and I showed you how to do the border with that rectangle tool. You have to have evidence of the line tool. So I clicked on the line tool and you can add lines anywhere you wanted. Okay. Um, and then I'm going, you have to have evidence of a text tool. So I'm going to go to my T, that's the text tool. Now if I right click on this, maybe, I can change it to my horizontal type tool, a vertical type tool, okay? So vertical would mean that the letters are going up and down. Horizontal means they're going from side to side. So I want this to be um, horizontal, just regular. And right up here is what color my text is gonna be. And right now it's black, so it won't be able to see, I won't be able to see it, so I need to change that color. So I am going to change it to maybe a soft pink. We'll do that. Um, and click OK. Then right here is the font size. I'm gonna make it a 36 point font. And then right here is where I can change the font. Um, so I could pick any of these options. I don't know, I'll just leave it on Helvetica to make it easy. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on in my document and you'll see that's there and I'm just gonna type. So you're gonna type favorites. Okay, and it changed my font. That's, oh, I must have accidentally clicked on that. So we'll just change it again back to Helvetica. And I want that to be bigger, so it's highlighted, and I'm gonna make it a 60 point font. And I'm gonna drag it where I want it and leave it alone. Now, if you click right here, you can't move it from there. You have to kind of hover outside of the word until you get this icon to show up, the move tool, and then that's when you can click and kind of move it um, where you want to. Okay, now let's say I wanted to create a text box for this. Okay, that would count as your shape tool um, as well. So I'm going to click on the background layer and I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. So I'm going to right click my line tool since that's the last way I used it. Click on my rectangle tool. This time I do want to fill. So I am going to make this maybe a light gray. Okay, and then I'm going to make a box around my text. Uh-oh, it covered it up. Well, there's a few things I can do, okay? Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this rectangle and I'm going to make sure that it's underneath my text, okay? So see it shows through now, but I also don't want it to be that saturated. So I'm going to come up here to my opacity and I'm going to lower that so it's just subtle. And then that's what it looks like, okay? So um, there's how I made my favorites document. Again, you need to have six images and I just realized I only have five. <laughs> um, but you need to have six total images. <clears throat> uh, and then you need to have two evidences of the shape tool one evidence of the line tool, one evidence of the text tool, and um, the background color needs to be changed from white to something else. Okay, so there is how you make this project.